Oh, welcome from Freddy. There he is. <laughs> and me. I'm, I'm making ephemera for slow stitching. Let me pull you closer so you can see. Judy had bought me this gorgeous tulip stamp. And I thought, oh, wow, I'm just going to pop this onto fabric. This one was paper, but I thought, oh, I've got some fabric. It's an old sheet. And yeah, just, oh, got my, this is, I'm using stays on ink, but this is just for the slow stitch project. So it doesn't have to be washable, really. But use what ink you have. I've got this old mouse pad down here and it just makes it that bit, a little bit of resistance. And that comes out nicely. If you haven't got a tulip ink stamp or a floral ink stamp, how about creating your own? I made this circle one here. Let's see how that... Let's see how this one prints off. Just adds another element to your slow stitching. Let's pop this down on here. Or if you're making cards. Or for your journal, your junk journal page. That would be lovely. Let's pop the lid. Let's put the lid on. And they say store them. Let's say store them upside down so the ink stays on the pad. There we are. That one hasn't printed off so well, but I will, it will be still. It will still be lovely. So then, what I'm doing? I'm getting my watercolor paints. And just painting them in. You know I'm loving using these watercolour paints at the moment. Yeah, so I'm no watercolour artist, but it just seems to, I've got two different reds here, it just seems to be, I just, I just um, dab the colour on really. Oh, you want to know what's in here? Oh, let me show you. Ah, oh, just take a nice sip of tea. Mm. Very nice. Do you remember the tulips I had on my desk the other day? Oh, look, it leaves like a tie-dye mark where I've had the string. Oh, amazing. Well, I took the petals from my tulips when they they had gone over and I soaked the fabric and the petals in alum and that's, that's a mordant and rolled them up. I popped the petals on here, rolled them up and steamed them just to see what colours I would get. And I thought, oh, I thought you'd like to. It's nice to see a reveal, isn't it? There's the mark from the strain. Few marks from the petals. Didn't put the leaves in. This yellowy colour comes from the stamens. Absolutely gorgeous. Look, there, there's the stamens still and the petals. That's lovely. I will iron that out and we can we can use that, can't we, Flo? This is a bit like this is a bit like our slow stitching. No right or wrong really. Just a bit of mark making really. I'm using the watercolours. You can use markers or felt tips or yeah. Because, of course, when you come round with the little black outline with your pen, it's 
seems to pull it all together, really. A little touch of gold. Oh, gosh, that's a lot of gold. Wow. See, each one's going to turn out differently. Did I put gold on this one? Oh, maybe I just didn't put gold on that one. Oh, lovely. There we are. What a choice of sides, actually. It comes through on both sides. Is that side? Or just that side, very subtle. Hmm, interesting. Let's add some black outline, shall we? Again, a little bit. Is this coming out? Yes, because it, it's so fine. No, I just hold the pen very loosely. So there's no right or wrong. Just adds that little bit of an outline. I usually put a little heart in as well. Plenty dots. <laughs> yeah. Put some put some marks on this one too. I think you sort of get the idea because you'll be doing you'll be doing your own thing have you any stamps ink stamps or are you going to make your own or add anything like this to your slow stitching let's have a cup of tea together shall we i've got today some Nikki bought this tea in. Right, so yeah, I have tries. Nick, I kind of semi. Oh, it's oh, wonderful. Even, it even, right. even the napkin. We, I can't oh, wait. Yeah. How many have you had? I've had a couple. A and couple. <laughs> <laughs> and Nikki the bowl. Too, <laughs> this morning. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's right. wonderful. You didn't make them this morning. Yeah. Cream egg oh, tea. Right. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> Freddie's interest. Yeah, cream egg Thank tea. It's like, we're not sure, chocolate and something mm. in it. But we're going to try that. It's black tea Thank based, you, so. Nikki, for spoiling us. It's got inside it. Where are my glasses? Oh, I don't know where they are. Um, black tea, cocoa nibs, cocoa shells. Jasmine blossom, sunflower petals, and natural flavouring. And oh, I tell you, it is absolutely gorgeous. I am getting that chocolate cocoa feel, but I'm also, it's very floral. Oh, it broke my glasses. I just felt them then. <laughs> Do you do that? Oh, how funny. Mm. It's very handy to have pockets. I'm sewing a dress at the moment. And Jennifer's dress, I'm sewing her a pocket from the button that Lynn made me because she likes a big pocket. And Flo is sewing a pocket on her little dress. Oh. And she's got on the pocket, she's got a little crochet flower. She's got one in her hair as well. Caroline crocheted these flowers. Aren't they amazing? Oh. It looks quite pale, but it's very fragrant. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. By a tea company in, in London that Nikki... Nikki visited Bird and Blend Tea Company. We'll have to go and visit there, won't we? Mm. 
I received some post this week from Trudy. She's made this card. It, it, I believe it's called Deco, Deco Patch. Isn't that oh, where you layer up the layers? It's a cockerel. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautifully, beautifully done, Trudy. Thank you so much. And a message. Oh, wonderful. And an ATC. Tea party. Oh, it's Alice in Wonderlandy theme. Isn't that gorgeous? Wonderful. Three of twelve. Trudy's Instagram is Gaga for gluing. And I'm going to put that, I'm going to put it here for the minute, but this will go in my teapot journal. Wonderful. Pop it up there. And that really will inspire me throughout the week. Oh, it looks gorgeous there. Thank you so much, Trudy. Mm. Oh, have a sip of this tea. Mmm. Gorgeous. I've got a biscuit I've been baking. I have got a Shrewsby biscuit. I say it. A Shrewsbury biscuit. And it's got currants in and mixed spice. A very, very old fashioned traditional biscuit. I'll, I'll munch on that in a minute when I'm not chatting to you. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much for for joining us. Let me know if you're going to have a go as well. You might just want to do it on paper. You might not want to do it on slow, on, on fabric. I quite like to add fabric to paper in my junk journals, though. Hmm. Take care, everyone. Bye. Oh, is this the Kenyan guy? Yeah. Yeah, I did hear about that. He, he won. Yeah. Did he won? A couple of different charities, basically. Marathon would be a bad day for him, and that would usually be. <laughs> and he was. Yeah. He was. He was only twenty-two really or something. Yeah. So you could see he was going to get to yeah. sort of Kipchoge level. <laughs>